Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a quick look at the Motion Modify tool in iClone 5.5. What the Motion Modify tool does for you is it allows you to modify your motions uh, after you've already recorded them, uh, modifying the motion clip using a similar UI to the uh, uh, Body Puppet tool. So I'm going to load in a character here. This, intent, this actually is a, a Vit3D character, one of our developers. You can purchase this on the marketplace. So let's take a look uh, first of all here. What I'm going to do is go to the uh, animation section and we're going to choose a motion. Let's choose a dancing motion here. Uh, we can use our uh, street dance popping. Let's find a uh, groove. Maybe use this uh, groove 02 here. We'll just double click that. So we're choosing a motion from the motion library and you can see him kind of grooving along there um, in his popping pose. Now the shoulders seem to be a little bit too high for this particular uh, character. So that, uh, traditionally what I can do to adjust this is at frame one, I can go to our edit motion layer. I can grab the shoulders and make sure the mirror option is on there. You lower those down a little bit so they look a bit more natural. Bring them into the side there. Um, and you can, of course, if you want, uh, take the elbows. You can uh, rotate those out. You can rotate those in. Maybe we can even uh, rotate the uh, shoulders out. Get a bit more of a wider, wider stance there. And that's normally how you would do it. You can see from the side. He maybe needs to be rotated a bit further forward at the hip. Something like that. I'm uh, going to take his chest and do that as well. There we go, just to kind of balance out his uh, body there. There we go, just some small modifications. And you would do that using the uh, motion layer editor there. So you can see there that uh, that's my uh, groove. Looks a little bit more natural, a little bit better from the side as well. There we go. All right, so that's traditionally how you would do that. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to uh, remove that animation. However, I'm going to... Uh, Double click again and uh, reapply that same motion. And this time we're going to do the same thing with the uh, motion modify tool. So in order to go use the motion modify tool, I'll press F3 to go into my timeline here. And the motion uh, clip there, or in the motion layer, or sorry, motion track. And you can see there's a motion clip in the motion track right there, groove 02. And you can see that uh, there if I uh, scrub along the timeline, that's the uh, motion it is. If I want to use the motion modify tool, I'll just right click on my clip and go down to modify. And that will bring up my panel for the Motion Modify uh, tool. You can see it's quite similar to the uh, Body Puppet tool, the Motion Puppet tool here. Um, you can see there is a default pose. This is uh, the base pose that your uh, Motion Modifier will use to uh, extrapolate data from. You can use a default iClone pose. You can auto-generate a pose, which will kind of auto-generate um, a position in the middle of your animation that, will, it, that iClone thinks will be the best uh, base for your modifications. Um, and there's also an exaggeration, uh, uh, lower body and upper body. In the parts modify section, uh, there's a slider mode. You can use the stand mode. This is useful for like idles and, and motions where like talking motions, maybe where your character's not moving very much. There's also the pose correction uh, section here where you can just do uh, just the hip forward or backward. Uh, and there's also the uh, move mode as well. This is useful for, uh, for motions like running or walking or something like that. So let's start off with the uh, stand mode here since we have this... Uh, old groove. Um, it's almost like an idle motion. And what I can do is if I preview, the advantage this has over the traditional ways, you can actually preview it in real time uh, while you're making these modifications. Okay, so uh, first thing I want to adjust, maybe you can see his shoulders are a little bit too high. Let's bring those shoulders down a little bit. Uh, make them a bit more natural. Uh, down there should do. You can see that uh, that looks a bit better there. And uh, if we uh, you know, go to the side there, He's leaning back a little too much for my comfort. Let's make him slouch a little bit forward. There we go. So he's really kind of getting into it a bit more. And you can uh, do stuff like uh, raise those elbows or uh, lower the elbows. Um, if you want to, it's all totally up to you the kind of dance move you're uh, you're looking for there. We can maybe have his elbows in or elbows out. You know, let's bring his elbows in a little bit there. And uh, you know, you can uh, widen that stance. Narrow that stance. A bit, bit wider would be good. All right, so you can just have fun, you know, modifying that on your own time. Uh, but once you're once you're done those modifications, um, you can lean forward as well. Uh, once you're done those modifications, um, you can just uh, press space to stop previewing. Um, it, actually, actually, as well, I want to show you the uh, upper and lower exaggeration. Um, you can see here that if I uh, increase that upper exaggeration, he's uh, really getting into it there. If I lower that upper exaggeration, he's kind of almost just bobbing his head. Almost like he just uh, just got started at a nightclub and is not uh, hasn't gotten into the music too much yet. We can uh, lower that upper exaggeration, almost just just like bobbing his head. 
And if we increase the lower exaggeration, get a bit more bob to a step there. However, if you take that down, you can see it's uh, not very groovy at all. So let's maybe increase that a little bit. Not too much. That's something good going on there. That should do. So we got uh, my modified uh, motion there. Uh, well balanced uh, from the side. You can see he's kind of just a little bit uh, getting into the groove a little bit there. So we'll press space to stop previewing that. And then we'll press OK. And once I press OK, that will create the modifications to my clip. And now you can see when I play back that my motion has now taken, uh, my modified motion has now taken the place of the old one uh, on this clip there. Okay, so that's basically uh, how it works. I'll show you one more example really quickly. Uh, let's go back to uh, frame one and let's remove this animation here. Let's use the motion puppet tool. Uh, if I open that up, you can see how it's very similar to the uh, motion modify tool, uh, the UI. There's a lot of uh, similarities. Um, let's, let's choose a walk actually, like a looping walk. And we can just go ahead and record. Uh, we have an angry walk there. You can see that's a bit too angry. We want to have something like this angry walk, but we don't want it to be so exaggerated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a basic walk and you can see that's the basic walk there. I'm going to actually record a few seconds of that basic walk. And uh, once we're done that, I'm going to actually turn it into a more threatening walk using the uh, motion modify tools. So we'll just get about 600 frames there. Now we'll just close that down, go back to frame one and open our timeline again. And there's our uh, motion clip right there. See a fairly decent motion, fairly uh, regular walk. Let's go to the motion modify and we'll uh, change that a little bit. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate, of course, the, uh, the uh, pose correction section for you there. Um, it depends on uh, your motion. You, you may not want to use this very often, but uh, it only has the two options there. So I can uh, you know, put the hips forward, hips backwards. If you find that your character's pose um, does not completely match iClone's um, default uh, motions, then you can uh, quickly make that adjustment right there. Let's go over to the uh, move mode here. There's a few more options in the mood mode. We'll, uh, mood, uh, move mode. Yeah, there we go. And uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, get started on that. We'll go ahead and preview it again. Like I mentioned, I want to turn this into a more uh, exaggerated, more um, threatening kind of walk. So if we add to that upper exaggeration, if we lower it, you can see it's almost walking like a robot there. Let's add a bit more upper exaggeration, a lower exaggeration. We can uh, maybe leave that as is. Um, you increase a little bit. What I want to do though here is maybe give him like a threatening walk. Um, let's lean him forward a little bit to do that. Maybe just uh, his neck forward and his head back a little bit. Is a bit more uh, intent on going where he's going. If this guy was coming towards you, you'd be pretty scared. And uh, maybe slouch him a little bit there as well. Not too much, maybe. Maybe just a little bit slouch forward. We're trying to find that balance between lean forward and, and slouch forward. There you go. So this guy's coming at you. You know, you don't want to mess with him. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, you know, you can sway. Swim a bit more. You don't want to swim too much. Um, we want to, don't want to really want to touch that right now. Uh, you can bring his shoulders down. Bring his shoulders up. Um, maybe just down a little bit. Looks a little bit better. Uh, for this particular character, a bit more natural. You can lower those elbows, raise those elbows. You don't want him to be walking like that. That's not very threatening at all, unless he has some knives. So this would be good if you uh, had a character with you know two knives in his hands, and he's holding them out like that. Um, you can always be creative and, and think of these things while you're using your motion modify tool. Uh, maybe elbow out. Not like that. That's not decided not very threatening right there. You'd probably want to put the elbows out a little bit. And... Uh, Lengthen that stride a little bit as well. There we go. Give him a bit longer of a stride. And uh, loosen those elbows a little bit. There we go. You can notice the difference there. Not very much bounce to the elbows, and this one has a bit more motion. So it looks like he's a bit more purpose driven. And uh, loosen the arm. You can stiffen the arm. This won't really matter much for this one. But uh, yeah, essentially what we'd want to do is maybe uh, stick those elbows out. So he looks like he's kind of tough his muscles are so big he can't walk properly all right so i mean there you go this guy's coming towards you you might not want to mess with him um let's uh do a final run through right here maybe a little decrease that lower exaggeration there there we go 
So I have a more threatening walk from that original uh, walk. So I'll just go ahead and uh, press OK. And you can see that'll uh, from my original to my uh, threatening walk right there. And we can also uh, zoom in on our uh, timeline or zoom out on our timeline rather. You can see that we have uh, you know 600 frames. It's walking pretty slowly. If we wanted to, we can maybe even speed that up. There we go. Not that, not too much maybe. So about there. There we go. Now he looks like he's coming to get you right there. If we had the proper lighting for this, that would be uh, pretty cool. Maybe even take that up. There we go. Now he looks evil. Let's get a good close-up on that guy. All right, so that's basically uh, how you can use the uh, Motion Modify tool there um, in uh, iClone 5.5. Um, useful for modifying your motions in real time. And uh, while you're at it, you can uh, be creative and uh, adjust, the, uh, adjust the motions that you have, your motion clips, to accommodate uh, weapons or any other sort of uh, things you want to attach to your character. All right, so hopefully you learned something in this tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching.